Banner's disease. It is a disease involving the capitulum of the distal humerus, which changes similar to the one that occurs in leg calf peritonitis disease. Banner's disease is seen in younger patient population, about 5 to 11 years old, usually occurs in the dominant elbow. With Banner's disease, loose bodies are not usually seen within the joint, also residual deformity is not common. The process in Banner is believed to be a vascular necrosis of the capitulum, secondary to trauma. It has a relatively benign course and usually occurs in the first decade. So this process is caused by interference with the blood supply of the growing epiphysis, capitulum, which result in resorption and later on repair and replacement of the ossific center. It is important to know that in people under the age of 20 years, the capitulum is only supplied by arteries that enter posteriorly. So if you do surgery in a kid, you don't want to go posteriorly because you endanger the blood supply. Although trauma, especially chronic repetitive trauma, is involved in this condition, some people think it's congenital, uh, or hereditary, or embolism, maybe fat, or maybe due to endocrine disturbance. So the differential diagnosis is osteochondritis desiccans of the capitulum, which usually occurs in older boys, and it's usually related to throwing activities. The x-rays probably will be similar, but the changes and the progression of changes on the x-rays will be different. In panelist disease, the patient usually complain of intermittent pain and the stiffness that lasts for a few months. The pain and the stiffness is aggravated by activity, improved by rest. There might be some local tenderness over the capitulum, maybe a slight effusion may be very minimal loss of extension or pronation and spination. When you look at the x-ray, the capitulum will look irregular with some areas of radiolucency. That means there is some resorption, especially near the articular surface. There might be some sclerosis. In few months, the area of radiolucency will be larger. Then it is followed by a reconstruction of the bony epiphysis again. And in a year to two, the epiphysis will return to its normal configuration and shape. And in about 50% of the patient, the radial head on the same side will show early maturation. So how do you treat that? Symptomatic treatment, you just need time because the epiphysis will revascularize, will redevelop, will become normal again. So you need to reduce the elbow activity. You may need to use long arm cast or a splint if the pain is severe. And the patient may be doing very well the x-ray finding may be different than the patient complaint. The patient may be doing very well, but the x-ray may show the disease, so be patient. The x-ray is lagging behind the same like in Bertha's disease. This video is for educational purposes only. Please consult your doctor before you make any decision about your medical care.